Hi folks, today we're going to walk through how to create a Padlet and post it to Google Classroom. First, you're going to select Padlet and you may be prompted to log in. So if you are, you're going to want to go up here and log in with Google. Then you're ready to create a Padlet. There are all sorts of different options based on the design and the, the nature of the assignment. If you're looking for just a general Padlet, I would go with the wall or the grid. The grid's a little more organized and easy to manage. So I'm gonna select my grid here. I would retitle this with the prompt or the theme or the topic for the assignment. Then in the description, I would give instructions as to how I want my student to respond to this particular prompt or topic. I can customize the wallpaper, the color scheme, even the font. I'm also gonna to wanna to turn on attribution. Turning on attribution allows students to uh, be automatically assigned their name as long as they're signed into Padlet. So that becomes really important when identifying who's participating in the Padlet. Make sure that you encourage your students to check to make sure that their name is visible, that they are logged into Padlet. You can also allow students to comment on each other's work or react to each other's work. I like stars. They, they can rate each other's work here. You can turn on the profanity filter as well as require approval if you'd like. Once you're done, hit next and you can start posting. Now, if you want to share this link, you're going to go up here to share. You want to make sure that visitors can write. If you want students to participate, you want to make sure that this feature is turned on or you can change the privacy. Then you're going to copy this link to your clipboard and then go up to Google Classroom. Once in Google Classroom, you're, you can select your, your classroom, go to the Classworks page, hit Create, and then you can either make this an assignment or you can make this a Materials tab. So I'm going to choose Assignment because I am going to grade it. And from there, I would put my title of my work, my instructions for how I want them to complete the Padlet, and then I could assign this to multiple classes or just one class. If you're doing the same assignment in multiple classes, you may choose to assign one Padlet to three classes or two classes, or you could create a different Padlet for each of your classes. But once you're done filling out that information as well as the due date, I would make sure you put it in a topic, either the unit that you're currently in or something along the lines of what we're doing today so that it's really easy for students to find the work and then press assign. Going back to Padlet here, make an assignment. So I'm going to go up to this Remake button, and then I'm going to retitle it. So I might say, if this is for second hour, I would type second, and then I would leave that title and that description as is. You can customize the design, or you can leave it as is. Make sure you select Copy People in Privacy so that that same authorship and that same process is still available. You wanna make sure that anyone with this link can write on it if you want your students to participate on that. And I would check that just to make sure that everything is set. So I'm gonna go up to the gear and make sure everything is the same way that I want it to. And once I know I'm ready, I can click the share button and I can copy the link to the clipboard and repeat the same process that I did for sharing out my link with my students for a different class.